ousted out EFCC acting chairman Ibrahim Magu. He was suspended and he spoke recently after his release. Ibrahim Magu was detained by the FCID on the 6th of July 2020, where he faced the justice at your salami led presidential panel. There are a lot of issues as regards his arrest. He was sent letter to appear before the panel, but he refused and was forcefully taken um, from the FCC office down to the FCID in Abuja. And aside all of this, there are some other issues as regards who and who is involved in this criminal activities that they've alleged. They said he's involved in money laundry. They say he's fraudulent. They said he's a thief. They said he's simply relooting. And he also accused Malami, who is a major um, um, pointer, uh, who is the major person pointing at him. He said Malami is also involved in criminal activities such as selling off, auctioning off crude oil that they got from some other criminal elements such as oil bunkers and bunkering and all of that. Now, Magu said they are nonsense. They are mere trump-up allegations to tarnish my image and that of the ESCC. He said, I did not steal or divert or convert funds to private use. I read the allegations and I was shocked. He now came to say he's thanking Nigerians for their support. I don't know who, who supported him. They should not be discouraged. I am happy to be back. I believe the war against corruption is winnable. As for me, I will forever wage war against corruption. I urge Nigerians to support the fight against corruption. They should not give up on the fight because corruption kills a nation faster than any other thing. It is not a personal fight. Whether I am EFCC chairman or not, the anti-corruption war must continue. What I have gone through is a case of dog eats dog. I'm sure you must have been conversant with that expression anyway dog eating dogs and i think that's what is happening right now but unfortunately it's not just an ordinary dog here these are criminal dogs these are very corrupt people we are not going to say all of a sudden this man is just being persecuted there are a lot of things that have been brought out against him a lot has been brought out against him and when i looked at both sides of it i'm not passing judgment at him although he's a police officer and um, the other man is a lawyer we know what they do i'm not passing judgment at him but we haven't looked at what they've all acquired somehow around them, either using proxy, either using some clandestine operations to get whatever it is. I came to realize that they are all birds of the same feather. They are all criminal dogs, corrupt dogs, dirty dogs trying to eat each other. He said, but I see it as one of those risks of the job. But we must not give up in any way. Dog eats dog. That's the words that he came out that came out from him, and he said he's still ready to fight corruption. But I don't know if there is going to be anyone out there that will, in any way, support Magu to return as EFCC chairman. There is no one to support there. They are all birds of the same feather. Magu was released ten days after he was picked up by me, by the men of the Department of State Services DSS to face issues as regards corruption and many other issues that trailed him. And you know. Nigerians reacted. People are asking. They said he should just stop talking. Give account of all the properties, all the assets that got missing under your watch. It's so, it's so, it's so terrible. They said that Magu recovered properties um, up to about 800 and something properties. But all of a sudden, they said 300 and something disappeared. And they also talked about how Magu auctions out properties that he got from criminals to his own friends. So this is how these guys run the show. But unfortunately, it seems as if money did not move around. It didn't pass around as they expected. And they started backing at each other. They started backing at each other. Now, let us be clear about this. I know Magu's position is a very sensitive one. Corruption is not easy to fight back, particularly if the players are extremely corrupt. They are bold at what they do. And they care less about anything. And they are the one running the show. They are the government. It's going to be a bit difficult. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that EFCC is, a, is an agency that is free and fair. EFCC is simply a dog that is used by the executive to execute anybody's vision, dream that is against theirs. They do that once in a while. And once in a while, too, they find one or two people like Magu in this case that they need to bring down because Magu does not pay them anymore. What was needed was to kick Magu off. If this had never happened... People would never have known how Malami 
the minister of justice built and bought a very big mansion for one of his sons to, as a gift for his wedding. Where did Wago get that money from? We are talking of a lot of money. Look at the expensive automobiles the children and drive around. They are living on, on, on Nigerian money. That's what they are living on. They, they are just there. So I, I understand that he's in that position, probably is getting paid some certain amount of money, but that money that he earns, he might say, well, I'm a lawyer, I'm rich, I've done jobs here and there. It's possible. But what I see is money being taken out from, in fact, simply put, they are simply reluting money. And it seems as if Magu took much more than expected. And they felt like, Mr. Magu, you're going to get richer than us. And with this, they spoke to him once, twice, he refused. And they felt that the best thing is to use what they know best. Propaganda, push him out, bust out his story, and of course, punish him. That's it. Now, someone said, for those saying it is corruption fighting back, does it mean the president ordered the investigation is corrupt? He couldn't have given approval for the investigation if he had not been presented enough convincing evidence to warrant it. Considering the length he went to keep Magu in office, Nigerian police wise up, nobody is incorruptible. By our own habit of holding brief for those we like when accused of corruption and castigating those we hate, even without evidence, when accused of corruption, we are helping to perpetuate it. So that's the person's comment there. Do you think that corruption is fighting back or corruption is fighting corruption? Which one do you accept? Corruption fighting back, EFCC, or EFCC as an embodiment of corruption is being fought back by another agency or another group of people, cabals of corruption fighting each other because they are also looking for a way to get what they need before they are, the tenure of their principal, their boss, finishes. So these questions beg for an answer. Someone say, I've always believed Mago will not fall, fall for fall. That pot cooked by those. All right, let's leave that part. Magu is already he has he has fallen, so that one is off. So you think Nigerians are stupid? Someone said, "I am happy you accepted that you are you are a dog, and that your dogness is what is causing sufferings for a lot of Nigerians." So that's one thing: dog eating dog. Those are the words of Magu, and it, it, I'm so glad too that he calls himself a dog, an animal. That's what they are. If not, why should things remain the way it is? Why? What is the possible outcome of the war against corruption that you have been fighting? Where is the cash you have recovered so far? Every element of lie, there is a truth. Magu, if you escape this Nigeria, if you escape, then Nigeria is one of hell. That's it. So what, what, what's your opinion? Sir, we know that what is going on, but God is with you in this fight, said somebody. So that person is actually believing that Magu is clean of all allegation but simply being witch hunted now someone said who are the corrupt and who are the fighter thief brings and the thief collects whoever will go to equity will do so with a clean hand no corruption will fight you back if your hands are clean the masses will be out there to riot and fight do you think the masses are idiots your hands are not clean it's as simple as that so much allegations so much allegations here and there have been put against mago too so it is it, it's, it's a very shameless very very shameless utterly shameless thing that is happening right there um some of the nigerians never expected anything more than this drama after all have any full any face of being convicted in court of law in nigeria we all know it will end up quashed up no case to answer his outcome of the story will be end of story there's no justice when it comes to this Fulanis in the north of Nigeria, they are the ones that are hell bent on making sure they do whatever they like. So, what do you guys um what, what do you guys think of all this? Someone said we are watching and waiting for everything that has a beginning must have an end. We pray you get a clean sheet so that your case should not be like most of the important persons that have risen from grace to grass. Now, when you look at the people that have occupied that position, that ESCC position, it started first with Ribadu, um Obasan just started this and they, they went on. Everyone that stood in that seat, everyone that got into that seat, they were kicked out shamefully. In fact, Ribado had to run out of Nigeria down to the United States. But the question is this. What were the allegations? Did Ribado steal? Did, did they say Ribado is too strict? Meaning he's not allowing at least one or two things. Or Ribado felt he was lord 
What is happening? Even the Waziri woman too. She was accused of a lot and the same. You know, it's very difficult if you are a person that goes to recover loot from criminals. There is a possibility that you might want to loot. And another question that beg for an answer, people ask, why is it that only the North occupy that position? Is there no other person from the South that can? Now, don't get me wrong. Do not think that someone from the South occupying that position will be free of corruption. That is why it is not about tribe. It is not about ethnic group. It's about you as a person. What is inside of you as a person? 